Okay, wait. That's Jonah Ryan, and that's me. How did I get a chance to edit my videos with the editing god himself, Jonah Ryan? The man who dream size and Megamore knows how to light a clutch garbage. Tell Ben Snoop got over 70k subscribers from 6 videos. His name is Jonah Ryan. Now, after seeing all of these amazing clips, you probably have one mission. The mission, edit like Jonah Ryan. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say that this intro only took me like 3 hours to make, so please consider subscribing. And let's start. Alright, so to record your video, so I use Badline Client's replay mod, you can also use like Forge or Lunar Client if they ever add it back to Lunar Client. Whenever you start your game and start recording on your regular recording software, just at the same time, start recording on replay mod. And here it's pressing P. There's also some replay mods where you just have a button there, so you can click it. Also, while recording the video, remember to... Whenever you have an epic moment, just press M and it will save a marker that you will later use to more easily edit those parts. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so for the replay mod, you will need to go to um, your replay, like that. Put your FOV down to 30 and get like any shaders. I use BSL shaders. Okay, so go right here to the center. So do it to get your mouse to move around. Press T or like your chat button to open this and then press escape to leave that. Place a time keyframe and a position keyframe. So this is a position and this is a time keyframe. I'm not gonna really explain how it works, but yeah. Just go like a little bit forward in the replay, like a second and a half. Alright, so after you're here all the way up, another position keyframe and time keyframe. Just go a little bit more forward just so like it will be smoother and go sign a bit more up. And then it should look like that. Okay, no, that didn't work. So it's just something like that, okay. Here we go, okay, so it makes it smoother. Now you can actually go right here. If you use the Forge replay mod, you will need to use FFmpeg, which I'm not gonna teach now. Okay, so select a folder and then give it a name. Just render, then wait a couple of seconds, and just like that, you're done. Okay, so open the video folder. You can see it looks like this. Okay, good. So now you have uh, this clip which Jonah Ryan always puts in the starts of the videos. Also, how I make the blocks more smooth is I put like on the shaders options, anti-L, I, I don't know how to say that, but I enable that, okay? So you can just clear the keyframes by pressing C. Here we go, so the first replay mod clip is gonna be, let's say just me bridging. Okay, so go to the place where you wanna actually make it. Um, you're gonna actually have markers because you didn't forget it like me. Here, I'll go to where you want to start and add a position keyframe and a time keyframe wherever you want to do it. Then, um, for example, here I bridge a little. Press V because, like, if you don't, it's gonna remove your old keyframe accidentally, like I did. Okay, now just, uh, uh, for example, here I know I'm gonna kill him, so I'm gonna go like that and then I'm gonna V and add a new position keyframe. It's pretty easy, okay? So it's just, okay, and here I killed him. I'm gonna V, and then, okay, here's gonna, here's the clip gonna end, and you can replay that, and okay, it's pretty buggy again, it's kinda buggy and bad line, but pretty much that's what happens, I just go like that, and I kill him. And that's pretty cool. So now go to render button, and put your folder again, and you can give it a, name so i'm gonna say clip one okay that's it i'm not i'm not, I'm not gonna give it a very specific name like this wait okay it kind of like has this rendering thing but that's fine we're gonna be okay with that so one thing i forgot to say is if you speed it up here it won't change the speed on the actual video okay so for the editing part what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna go through the video 
know, whenever there's uh, something that Dylan or Ryan does that I do in the video, then I'm gonna pause and explain how I did that. So, yeah, let's continue. Okay, I forgot to say this, but whenever there's a white background, um, just create a new color mat and then set the color to white and just like drag it wherever you want to have a white background at the bottom video layer to have that. Yeah, so these are pretty much the results. Okay, so the first thing <laughs> already, uh, the font here is uh, lemon milk and I put that like in the shadow and that's pretty true. Okay, let's just get to the of the video. Uh, I will be, I will be on the video. Alright, this, I just, uh, just put moments of the video, and I added this text on top, and then I also added the effect drop shadow, so you go to the right drop shadow, and these are my settings to the drop shadow, and I also used the elementary color to reduce the saturation to make it, like, a little black and white, but still, like, you still see cold. Let's continue. Yes! Let's go! Let's try Okay, that, that was actually first try. And yeah, that's it. Two, These are three, the and four. Can't what you have now. Okay, here, uh, the way I made this text um, works like that. So first I added the shadow, but then on the clip, I first added the effect Gaussian Blur on top. So that just uh, makes it blurry. And then I also uh, added the effect Track Matte Key, and I set it to Video 3, which is this layer where the text is. So pretty much selected matte luma. If you make it on like darker colors, you should select this. But if you add like a shadow, then you should select the, the matte luma. Also, um, there's this reverse option, which I animated to make it like reverse. You see, like that. Okay. I can get, I can get you this time. I will get you this time. Okay, okay, I will. Alright, alright, alright. Fireball. Okay, so these are the results. Okay, this is the first transition here. I, I actually only have two transitions in this entire tutorial. But using the second transition, you can actually make a lot more. So what I did here is, it like, you see, it like rotates, right? So what I did, what I did is I have actually three different uh, adjustment layers. So the bottom one, has this replicate effect. This is to make... Okay, so for this transition, what I did is um, I added three adjustment layers, which you can add by adding them right here. Now, on the bottom adjustment layer, I gave it, I gave it the replicate effect, and I set the count to three, which this is. Uh, one of them, I actually dragged them. Uh, the first one, I dragged to be right here, so you can see, wait. Okay, so I dragged the first mirror to be like right here and the second mirror to be there. So what it basically does is it makes the entire video like the same three times to this uh, place and then mirrors on the top and bottom. So 960, 540 and ends at 1600, 540. So what this does is it just moves that and also has the scale animation. So this is on 300, this is on 120 and then this is on 300. And this is uh, actually happening with transform, not with the regular motion. So we can actually set the shutter angle. So we can set that like this. So you can put the shutter angle on 360 and disable this, and that will make it like also have some motion blur. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then the third uh, adjustment layer, it has to be in different ones, so like it will actually work. And then the top adjustment layer has first of all d directional blur, which pretty much blurs it. So it's, uh, direction line it starts on zero blur, and then in the middle it's on three, and then the end it's back to zero. And then this also animates the curvature and lets the slope effect. That's what makes it from just moving to being actually, like, to actually rotating, like, you know, a sphere. So it pretty much uh, starts at zero, and then it goes to minus 50. So it's like, a, like, a sphere, like you're inside the sphere. And then minus 50 here, and then it's back to zero there. These are all also set to um, 
spacier here so you can actually like make them smoother so you can see I made this kind of like line to make it smoother. We're done with the first transition and let's move on. Okay so these are the results and this is the trend. And there's this clip of me moving my head around which I also made using the replay mod using the same stuff for the replay mod so you can also do that by yourself. I kind of forgot to say that. Transition. Okay so this is another transition. It does like this. Um, that's even simpler than the first one. So all you need to do here is pretty much just have again directional blur. The direction here is on 315, and then it, like it starts at zero, goes to like 40, 40, and then it goes back to zero. And then there's also the offset effect here, so that just moves it. Okay, so you can see that moves it from 960, 540 to minus 960, minus 540. Um, and again that's with an adjustment layer so like it'll be e easy to use and yeah that's it let's get into the game okay this is the actually this is actually the last transition i made here in this entire video the last fancy transition it works on the same idea as the other transition they have the first adjustment layer which pretty much has the same thing so it's has the replicate effect with a count to three and then it has mirrors all over here so what it does is wait, if I disable this pretty much it has instead of mirrors only here and here it has mirrors on each one so you can see if I delete this mirror it looks like that this one starts here and ends at the cut and then the top uh, adjustment layer what it does is it does 300 zoom like scale while it zooms out you can see here this adjustment layer just ends so uh, until it goes back to 100 and how it ends up looking is this this game, this game. now here we have the clip of it like zooming out I actually forgot to add the map name I actually forgot what map that was and then um, okay here my head is just moving um, how I got this head I'm gonna leave the link in the description for the website where I got this head. I'm pretty sure it's minecraftskinstealer.com. If that's wrong, just go to the description, it should be there, okay? <laughs> so my head is moving. Okay, actually there's one last effect that I forgot about. This is really the last one. Um, this, again, works on the same concept with the mirrors, so you can see, again, there are mirrors on the side, so I, I'm not going to really explain it, so it's like, you can just copy the zoom transition that I explained here, and then instead of zooming out, just have it rotate like that, and yeah, just rotate, and there will be edges as long as it has this. Alright, so, here I have some stuff. This is my video okay. for the Jonah Ryan editing okay. tutorial. I'm just gonna play Bed Wars here. Okay, yeah, and pretty much from here, there aren't really like any special effects anymore. Because that's just like, you know, that's just now. Oh, yeah, I, I did actually. The only thing I did here is I actually took the replay mod clips and I just synced the replay mod clip with the actual um, clip itself and I just like transitioned between those. But like, that's just no the cuts, no special transitions or anything. So that's basically just alternating between the regular to the replay mod. And yeah, that's it. Uh, let's just keep watching the results until the end. Oh god, oh god, okay. I'm, 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 I'm so bad at talking. I'm so bad at talking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, wait, um, do I make this? <coughs> what the heck? Alright, I did not make that then. Oh god! No. Wait, what? Alright, 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 I think Let's go. Let's run around this, let's go. <gasps> yes! And... Yeah! I got his bed, I got his bed. G good enough, good enough. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much how my average Bedwars game goes. Alright, alright. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, pink! Pink, don't leave me alone. Right. Oh my god. God. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? 
so I guess I can go to Aqua because I'm here already. Oh, Aqua's bed is not there. It's actually well we use defending it by now, so it's kinda sad. Um, but let's try to do this. Yes! Let's go! Wait, why are you not why are you not killing me? What what the heck? Or I will be I will be undefeatable. I don't know why I got an iron sword too, but like that's fine. I will do it. I will get you. Alright, alright, alright. Fireball. Bruh! I can't I can't I can't break his back. I can't Oh god. <laughs> I literally can't ever break his bed. Okay, it's right here, right? Let's go. Easy. I think it's right here, so if I hit him correctly, it should just kill him. No, what? What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. We need to come in for up. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Easy. Okay. Oh god, no. Wait, I don't have a fireball. Thought I remembered like having a fireball. Wait, wait, wait. If I just wait long enough, he should lose his effects. Lose your effects, please. Oh, let's go. He's right here. And let's go. I won the game. First try. Okay, that that was actually first try. How did I just get a win first try for like a video? <laughs> I'm so good. Let's go. 